the entertainment capital of the world. A desert oasis. Home to lounge acts, chorus lines, and choreographed acrobatics. Raised in the Las Vegas Valley, amidst the afterglow of the neon bulbs, Aaron Wheel's Fotheringham has been perfecting a show of his own. A show unseen, untouched, and unrealized by anyone before him. Once bound by the constraints of misperception, it is his limitless potential that now has him exploring frontiers previously undiscovered. My earliest memories of him are things like going down the stairs headfirst because his hands work better than his legs, um, jumping off the bunk bed, but on his hands instead of his feet. Afflicted with the birth defect spina bifida, Aaron has never had full functional use of his legs. Early on, doctors warned of a dismal future. He'll need help for the rest of his life. You'll have him forever. He'll never be able to be independent even as an adult. On and on and yada, yada, yada. Scared us to death. Um, so yeah, we had lots and lots of fears. I definitely remember a lot of hospital visits from my childhood. It seemed like as always in hospitals, they're getting surgeries. Part of the spina bifida, my hips are bad and you know, they try to fix them a bunch. For three months, my legs were like spread and there was like a broomstick going between just a big cast. To this day, I've had 21 surgeries. So many surgeries on a growing body take an extreme mental and physical toll. It became apparent to doctors that at some point, Aaron would no longer be able to support himself by the use of crutches alone. One of the doctors at the Spina Bifida Clinic had told us to get him a wheelchair. And over the course of that year or two where he was going from crutches to a wheelchair, I think that defined his whole future. My brother was a BMXer, and he actually first got me to go to parks. Now him and a bunch of skaters helped me get to the top of this tiny little ramp, probably about that tall. And um, I was pretty scared, actually. I think that was the first real like adrenaline I was feeling. You know, I ended up falling onto my wrists, and I repeated that a couple more times. And uh, then I, you know, it was weird because I just kept getting up and trying it. And then just finally when I rolled away from the first one, it was like, boom, hook, you know, I love it. My husband, he just said, calm down, it's okay. <laughs> and told me that, that it was very important to let Aaron be a boy. Do not draw boundaries around him just because his legs don't work. You know, the skate park's a good pain reliever. When I'm riding, I don't really feel the pain from my hip. You know, I'm more scared for my life than just my hip. <laughs> so it's, you know, just riding keeps the pain away. One of the first tricks I was doing, and I'd lift a wheel up for a split second, and then, um, then I considered that a trick, and I was pretty pumped on that. I think my next trick was a grind. Then um, I think my next big thing was a 180. I was doing that, and then um, that kind of got boring. And so he'd do more and more and more. And at one point he said, everybody keeps saying how to do a backflip. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I think after doing the first backflip, it you know flipped a switch in my head and was like, okay, you know, nothing's impossible now. A lot of people are narrow-minded when it comes to people in wheelchairs and what they can and cannot do. But I always knew that he didn't let his disability stop him from doing anything. While so many others in his position would have been content to stop after achieving the world's first ever wheelchair backflip, Aaron set out to raise the bar. The double backflip was in my head, but it wasn't like a serious like, oh, you know, I definitely know I could do a double backflip. Oh, he gets mad when he can't do something. I hit my head again. 
He has quite a little temper on him. I think that's part of what drives him at this point in his life. I'm gonna get a double flip tonight. Let's do it again. And then he goes back and eventually accomplishes it. When we return on Courage in Sports, faced with the opportunity to push the envelope even further, Aaron takes his show on the road and proves why he's a trailblazer. I'm not gonna get there and back down from it. Like, if I die, at least I die doing what I love on a big ramp. And later, the America's Choice honoree Chris Norton and his fight against all odds. How a fractured neck on the football field couldn't fracture his spirit. When we return on Courage and sports. Welcome back to Courage and Sports. So many faced with a debilitating birth defect as severe as spina bifida allow it to define their lives. I had people telling me, you can't do this, you can't do that. Like, I hear it a lot because I'm on a wheelchair. And that was the main motivation for me. Aaron Fotheringham likes to say he is not in his wheelchair as much as he is on his wheelchair. And his exploits have garnered him attention throughout the action sports community. After completing the world's first backflip and double backflip, Aaron began to seek out even greater challenges. This guy in a wheelchair says he can go down the, the Meg ramp. Man, the first time I saw wheels at a skate park, I was like, oh, this guy can definitely do it. I, I, I was freaking out, man. I uh, went in and I woke my parents up and I had them read the email. I was like, Nitro Circus, do you guys know what this is? The idea sparked from the TV show uh, Nitro Circus on MTV. Basically, it's a bunch of people that are all like-minded, a little bit crazy. Turning it into a live tour is just the next step. So I got there and we pull up and we drive next to the ramp. And I mean, you have to look out the car window to see the top of it. It's a little daunting. Uh, the mega ramp is basically a 50 foot tall roll in, just about a 45 degree angle down. There's a 40 foot gap and a 50 foot gap. It's a little nerve wracking sometimes. He wasn't even 100% sure if they were offering him a part in the show or if they were just thinking, oh, we got it set up, let's get this kid down here and see if he can. The amazing part about wheels, and I've never seen so many. Um, you know, gnarly people so scared, out of their mind, were like, don't let him do it, no, he can't do this. We just didn't know, no one's, no one's ever done that. And um, on the way down, I was just like, I've got so much speed, I need to do something cool. Are you kidding me? That was the coolest thing ever, dude. He just did a backflip in a wheelchair. First time down. And then everyone ran up to me and was giving me high fives and was like, that's the fastest anyone's ever made it into Nitro Circus with one jump. Balancing that fear to fun ratio is just, it is hard. Before long, you're gonna be hurting yourself. That's just the bottom line. I think the fear stays at the top of the ramp because, you know, I've crashed and I've hurt myself. But the, the time you land a trick, even if it's like one out of 10, it, 
you know, it totally makes up for all the crashes. As part of the Nitro Circus Live Tour, Aaron has traveled the globe, expanding minds and pushing his own limits at each stop. You know, you see videos and you see YouTube, he talks about, you know, performing in front of these huge crowds, but until you see it in person, you don't really get it. Make some noise, do it now! The whole team is down here! Wellington, start whistling right now! I started to cry. I could see the other athletes crying, were screaming, jumping. Plows his way through the crowd and looks up in my face and we both are just crying. Courage can be defined in a multitude of ways. Risking life and limb isn't necessarily one of them. But blazing a trail where no one else has ever gone before certainly is. Wheels is pioneering a whole new sport, a whole new um, mentality. Now, other people always act towards guys that are wheelchair bound as if that's supposed to be an issue or a problem. And Wheels is saying exactly the opposite. He's been able to accomplish stuff that, that no one even fathomed. They didn't think it was, it was possible. They didn't, you know, there was, there's no precedence. There's no one on the tour that gets a bigger ovation or that's respected more than Aaron Wheels' father here. And that's pretty cool.